uh, so so that's all I have to say for right now thank you Ms. Winslow uh, Mr. Cardinale thank you um, you know I I find this conversation extremely depressing um, this is just a calamity of public policy and I, I, I think this whole exercise is, is deplorable. Um, I agree that this is a solution chasing a problem, that there is no problem. I've articulated that, I think, very clearly. And, um, you know, Councilman Bond is correct that the chairman, the chairperson, has the ability to use the gavel. Um, and that's in an instance where it, it related to an individual and as I've said before if you have a large group of people as sometimes Miss Moore does you can put a limit three minutes per person I don't even necessarily think that's necessary I mean what is this really all about I recall um, and I'm, I'm glad that Miss Winslow brought up the issue of the uh, of the once unrecorded vote that was taken in 2010 regarding this very same issue uh, in which people were, uh, obviously council members did not want the public to know um, how, they, how they voted. Uh, we, we, we now do know. But um, when I was asking council members, individual council members, as they voted, Keisha Lance Bottoms, who was new on the council at the time, said that she was concerned about well, what happens when CDHR runs over and it goes into public safety. Guess what? Reschedule the meeting. And we just gave you all a raise. Y'all gave yourselves a raise. So uh, we're not going to buy the argument that you have to have all your committees on two days out of a two-week cycle um, because you have to go run and, 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 and draw your salary somewhere. If it's such a problem that people are talking, and that's the, and that's the issue, which I don't think it is. I'll get to that. Then reschedule your meetings. But guess what? I don't think that's the issue. When did this meeting start today? believe it was five ten minutes late why was that council members aren't showing up on time if these council members who are so allegedly concerned about the efficiency of the meetings and we're the problem then you need to start by showing up on time and not wasting our time and what about the fact that we have spent about two hours today two hours about a month ago so we've spent four hours debating this issue. What could we have done positive for our city substantively in that four hours? Probably a lot. What about all the time that's been spent at CDHR, for example? I'm sorry, Ms. Oh, Ms. Shepard's still here. Okay. At CDHR, for example, because we have had uh, situations where a member of the committee has made a motion to extend the five minutes. One time I asked for an additional minute and we spent three minutes debating the one minute. What about when C.T. Martin at full council made a motion to give more time to the speaker from People TV? And the speaker from People TV wanted two minutes. I believe we spent about 45 minutes on that with two votes. So no, I don't think y'all are concerned about efficiency. Because if you were, we wouldn't even be talking about this and you'd be showing up to the meetings on time. Ms. Adrian, you said you wanted more public engagement. This isn't the way to do it. Um, we we uh, received a document from Ms. Bottoms talking about the differences in speaking time limits in different cities and jurisdictions. Uh, apparently something was prepared. I'm glad that you all have the benefit of it. Um, I don't understand what the point was of even doing that if we're not even going to be discussing it today and we're about to vote without having even discussed it. Um, but one of the things I emailed to your committee staff is um, someone mentioned the city of Decatur. I wrote a story involving the city of Decatur and a group of citizens who wanted them to pass legislation related to um, a resolution expressing the sense of the city related to the Citizens United ruling. The city of Decatur allows citizens to band together and get on the agenda of their full meeting and present something that they want the council to take action on. So if we're going to look at other cities, let's look at some really positive things that are creating an opportunity for direct democracy. Um, 
I've tried to do some of that. At this committee, I made a, a wish list. I made a wish list for about 15 things. I've gotten some of those things on that wish list, Miss Adrian. And I think that's what y'all are upset about. I think that's what y'all are afraid of because I've been able to use this microphone to be effective. And that's scary, isn't it? It's pretty scary. You can't fight, you can't fight City Hall, but sometimes you can. I have spoken at committees I want to hone in on actually um, s some specific things here. And if you recall, I, I, I had a list that I circulated about a month ago of uh, things that I thought would be less horrible. Um, right now, you have to wear a th the three minutes could be extended, but the five minutes could not. Well, why would that be? Are we saying that something that isn't on the agenda, or that actually, not even on the agenda, but isn't an action item to be voted on that day on the agenda isn't important? Well, I know from my history that I have spoken about many important things that aren't on the agenda. I mean, that's like the problem, is that y'all aren't really addressing things that need to be addressed, and that's why we speak to items that are not on the agenda. You know, what about when I've come to city utilities and transportation and I've talked about the need for solar panels? That's not on the agenda. Have I gone over five minutes? Well, he doesn't have a rule. Now, I would have five minutes for that. I think that should be extendable. I would appreciate it if someone would offer an amendment to that effect at some point. Um, you know, I, have, I brought up the issue of the briefings. The, the, the briefings that were once closed and are now open. And I had spoken at Committee on Council, I'd spoken at Transportation, and I believe I bring many strategies to bear. Song, public speaking, litigation, but I think the public speaking piece has been crucial to some of the change that I've been able to affect, particularly with respect to the briefings. So, you know, again, public safety. When I spoke about the findings of the Citizens Review Board, the Citizens Review Board found unconstitutionality. That wasn't on the agenda of public safety. That was important. And for a citizen to be able to just stand there and talk about that, I believed I put pressure on the city. I believe that put pressure on everybody. And it was like an unspoken truth. Everybody knew it. No one was talking about it. So I think we need to be careful about just limiting public comment for items that are not on the agenda to five minutes and having no ability to extend that. I think that comments on a presentation should be able to be made at the time that the presentation occurs. Right now, it says that comments relating to non-action items presented or discussed during the meeting, such as departmental presentation, shall be included in general comments. That means at the end, I guess. But that actually ties into some, another suggestion. This wasn't on my list, but it was kind of because I assumed that this was part of it, and I want to get clarity. A couple weeks ago, I, uh, there was a speaker who, I, who needed a little clarity on what this legislation did, Ms. Shepard, and you said, you, everybody gets five minutes, and in addition to the five minutes, you get three minutes on each uh, item for, for, for action item. I was wondering whether any piece of that five minutes could be reallocated if a citizen wanted to do that. Because right now, we have the same five minutes in CDHR, and we have the ability to allocate it however we want. And if we're viewing the five minutes as, you know, an entitlement, uh, I think it would be best if citizens could use it. I want to use two minutes to add to what I, I have on this legislative item, and then I'll use the other three at the end. I think that would be helpful. I don't think it's a contradiction for me to talk about amendments that I think should occur, even though I oppose the legislation. Um, someone in the community asked me about that. I don't support this legislation. I have a receipt right here. This is just uh, an exhibit. I, I, I need this back. $21 I spent on a taxi getting here today. I tried to take MARTA. I didn't have any cash. I was running late. Had to take a cab. Had to take a cab. 
I just want you to know, I'm a low-income person, and this process is so important to me that I'm willing to spend, to me, a lot of money to come down here. And, you know, and that's just, I just want you to understand. I mean, we come, da we come down here, the five of us, Ben Howard, Dave Walker, Ron Shakir, Brother Muhammad, take time out of our day, spend money on MARTA. We make sacrifices to be here because we see a need. We see a need because we don't have the public engagement that we need. And now we're just going to make that problem even, even worse. I'm proud of the contributions that I have made to my local democracy over the years and of, of what we all have achieved. The fact is, for a small group of citizens, I believe we've been very effective. I agree. I don't think it matters what other cities do. Apparently, it really doesn't because we didn't do anything with the, with the research that was prepared. But beyond that, I mean, wh who cares? I mean, who cares if everyone else is doing it wrong? We're supposed to be the city of the civil rights movement. We're supposed to be taking the lead. You know, it's a good thing to be better. You know, it doesn't always have to be a race to the bottom. Um, thank you. I am going to need this. So, um, I, I, I'm glad, Ms. Winslow, that you brought up your change, because I, I was curious about it. And I know that we, t we spoke on the phone, and you said at the time that you thought it was more trouble than it's worth. I would submit to you it's still more trouble than it's worth. This debate and this legislation. Um, I think that um, we have an election coming up. And I've spoken to candidates who are running for office, challenging many of you all. I haven't spoken to a single one who supports this legislation. Um, I've spoken with Robert Welsh. I've spoken with Tory Lewis. I've spoken with other people who are prepared to make an election issue out of this. And I also just want to I would be remiss if I didn't express my uh, disappointment in the council president for standing before this committee and urging this to be passed a month ago. I don't think it's, and, 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 and to say that it had gone through the process and that we, we had all spoken about it, it had been completely hashed out by a group of chairs in an in a open meeting, but not a committee meeting. I, th I don't think that that was right. I really didn't appreciate the rush on this. So I really urge for this to not be supported. Um, I just want to make sure I have all my wish items covered and that we're clear on what they are, the less horrible things. So the one less horrible thing would be that the five minutes could be extended, not just the three. Another less horrible thing would be that the five could be reallocatable. I actually had language on that. A citizen can elect to reallocate all or a portion of the five minutes for any three minute item. Um, and I also thought that the extension, that, that there should be a possibility for the chair to make an extension as well, not just the, the whole committee. Uh, because then, you're going to get into those like 10 minute debates over the one minute extension that I talked about earlier. I, um, as you know, this is an issue that has been very important to me and um, over the last several years and has even led to, lit uh, led to some litigation related to the disclosure of the previous vote on this matter. Um, I think the fact that this has actually come back suggests to me that the motivation of this coming back has to do with us, has to do with the five of us. You know, and I'm sorry that I'm sorry that um, there are members of the council who've been called a name that they don't like. This doesn't address that in any way. So don't, don't try to um, get back at people for something that is irrelevant. Thank you, Mr. Cardinal.